This month's soap challenge club was the mantra swirl. Now I've done this in the past many, many, many years ago. Um, and I really haven't come back to it because I don't like a number of things about this technique. One, I hate working with dividers. They take almost as much time to clean as it does to make the soap. And two, cutting this soap is a pain. I can't just put it in my log cutter and cut it. And I always end up with a little more wasted soap than I would by doing it, the, cutting it the regular way. So I said, that's why I've never done this. The technique is pretty simple. As you can see, I've divided my loaf into three segments and I am pouring white on one side, black on the other side, and then I'm doing a multi-colored pink, three different tones of pink in the middle. You don't have to, you can do three solid colors. Um, part of this challenge uh, required this and part of it is I think it's just more fun when you have multiple colors. That said, you can do really gorgeous mantra swirls with just three colors as well. So as I pour this, I am pouring a little bit of the white, a little bit of the black, and the little bit of the pinks as I go. That way it keeps the colors from seeping underneath the dividers and it just keeps everything in its place better that way. Now I'm kind of doing a modified, I guess, column pour. I'm just doing at the end and then the soap is pushing itself down through the rest of the mold. I went with the pinks because that's what spoke to me. I kept going back and forth, back and forth with what color theme would I do and I was down to, I had to make this and it was time to make a decision and pink was what spoke to me so pink is what it was. I am going to just keep pouring and filling each section until all the soap has been poured into the mold. I'm removing the dividers now, slowly and carefully, and I'm trying to scrape down the soap that's on the side so I don't have or lose soap. The fun part comes with the swirl. So you're going to do this kind of back and forth figure eight pattern, as you see in the bottom right hand side. I am using a spoon with a wide, flat edge. You want something thick. You want to pull the soap through from black to white and white to black and get that pink mixing in. A little dowel is not going to give you very good results. Even a thicker dowel probably isn't going to give you the swirl you want. Using a thick candled spoon or in this case like I'm using the flat edge of a spoon is going to give you better results. So I highly recommend finding something thick to swirl with. You might not like the results, you might want a thinner swirl, but I think starting with something thick and then working your way down if you don't like it, is gonna give you better results, better swirls. So I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, creating that pattern until I get to the very end.
There are two ways to cut your soap when you're using this method. I am going to show you how I do it with a log splitter. So you have to cut your log in half. And that is what I am doing here. This is not my favorite method. I do it this way because I have less, less waste when I cut the bars. So now that I've split it in half, I need my bar size to be two and a quarter inches to match my standard bar size or at least get pretty close to it. So I am simply taking a ruler and measuring out two and a quarter inch, making a mark where that falls so that I can use it as a guide when I put it in my uh, cutter to slice the bars. You can see there's a little bit left at the end that gets lost. So line it up, get it straight and cut. And now you have your bar. So this bar is actually a little thicker than my typical one inch bar. Um, I, again, I don't want to waste soap. So I just make a thicker bar. Um, otherwise I would have to cut or put it through the log splitter three times and I would lose the like all that that really thin layer that would be left on top I would basically be wasted so and that bugs me so I just made a thicker bar that's another reason why I don't do this technique is like I said the cut is kind of a pain so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these bars I'll kind of speed it up a little bit and let you enjoy watching the cut and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this technique and let me know what you think about these bars. I'm still kind of on the fence whether I was really pleased or not with how they turned out. I think they're growing on me, but it, it just wasn't quite what I was going for with the swirl. So yeah, I'm curious as to know what you guys think. 